Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the F-150. Based off of the title, today's video is a little bit different, guys. It's a little shocking. Now, if you're a longtime subscriber, then you know that we vinyl wrapped a Mitsubishi Evo 10. Uh, we did this very cool, unique half wrap on the car. Be sure to check that video out. And well, he had the wrap on for about a little less than a year. And well, he decided to go a different route and asked to remove all the wrap off of his car. Upon doing that, he has made an interesting discovery, folks. We're about to go check it out. I'm actually a bit concerned and shocked at this discovery that he made. Very beautiful looking taillights. All right, guys, so check this out. This Evo 10 was completely half wrapped by yours truly over here. This entire left side of the vehicle was wrapped and the entire right side of this car was left factory paint. Um, but, like I said, he decided to go a different route, so he peeled off all, uh, well, most of the wrap on the car, and he noticed this. This side, this side over here, has a yellowish tint, and this side just looks like a pure bright white. This factory, and this was the wrap removed, and for some reason, Hopefully the camera might might not be able to yeah, there we go right there. Yellow. But do we see a black oh you can kind of kinda of see it, right? Yeah. Here in the way I you see a bit more, but Yeah, you can't even see it on the camera though. That's pretty cool. Those are the V Land headlights. You guys saw the difference on the hood uh, under the sunlight. You can clearly tell that the wrap side has a yellowish tint to it and the factory colored side has a super nice bright white to it. Clearly something happened. My guess is that the wrap baked itself onto the clear coat because you can run your fingernail. Nothing gets caught or anything. It's literally on the clear coat. So what I think we could do is probably hit it with some compound and polish and see where that takes us guys. But that's really weird. 3M, man, it's, it's, it's getting some issues. A little bit over here, it's bright white. Super kind of hard to tell without proper light. It's way more noticeable on the hood than it is in your house. Yellow, white. We're about to uh, see if we can buff all this stuff out. Have some uh, Meguiar's 105, some 205, some correcting pads, some finishing pads. We're gonna clay it, and we got some uh, giant bags. So apparently these VLAN headlights don't come included with the H7 bulb. There you go. It's on. It's on. Do it again. Yeah. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. Do it again. Definitely see it. Huh. We're going to go ahead and see if we can do a bit of paint correction on this car. We have everything set up. 105, 205. We have our clay bar. We have our no rinse car wash. And then we have a brand new, uh, pretty deep cutting uh, pad. We also have correcting pad and finishing pad and of course microfibers. We got a deep cutting one. Mixed it with Meguiar's 105 Ultra Cut Compound. We're going to try to cut in and see if we can remove some of that yellow tint. Just completed the second pass with 105. Uh, I think we're going to do one more. See much improvements. But we'll probably do one more pass with the 105. Got to get the pad nice and prime, just like that. Oh! Nope. Nope. 
definitely still there. It's still there. The yellow tint is still there. The three passes with 105 and two passes with 205, and it's still there. At least brighten it up a little bit, but you can still see that line. Yeah. The line is falling right down there. Damn, man. Yeah, you can see that difference. Yeah, it's still there. That's the only section that has it. Everything else seems okay too. Might also be our lighting. Try to do some paint corrections. Try to fix the clear coat. Because it looks like that's what was the, uh, the issue on this thing. But nope, it was not to be. A little concerning guys because my truck is Oxford white and we have vinyl wrapped it in satin black. So I'm a little I'm a little hesitant and scared just to see what, what's underneath this vinyl wrap. Hopefully it's still that Oxford white and not Oxford yellow. That yellowish tint is still on the Evo 10. Very odd, I'm very shocked that the side that has vinyl wrap is the side that looks faded. You would think the sun would fade the side that has the paint exposed, but that side is still super bright white. I think the wrap on the hood basically baked itself on the paint and gave it that discoloration. Again, the vehicle was parked outside for like two or three months straight. Nobody touched it, it was at a shop uh, getting repairs done. So that could also play a factor. Being outside exposed to the elements and exposed to the sunlight for that long would probably uh, mess with your paint. But man, that's... Never heard of vinyl wrap like doing a discoloration to the car's paint. So as the trunk does have it a little bit, but not that bad. It's not as noticeable as the hood. The hood is just straight up. You could definitely tell there is a line going right down the middle and one side is yellowish and the other side is just this very nice reflective white. I've seen that 3M sometimes leaves adhesive behind when you're removing it because it's happened to uh, the, the work truck. Um, but I've never had discoloration like that before, so very, very odd and very concerning. It's still, it's very weird that the side with the vinyl wrap is what got affected and looks faded. The, the exposed factory paint looks flawless, looks as good as it was before it was wrapped. Not quite sure what's going on there, guys. Anywho, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace and take care.